What story with y'all boys? It's been a fat little minute. I'm back with um back with another AVI tutorial. Just gonna get straight to the point. I'm basically gonna be explaining how I got to here. That's what I'll be making today. Press Ctrl T to resize, hold shift to move it accordingly. I want to use this logo because I just had something in mind for like the skull in the middle. I hold shift to grab both of those, Ctrl T, shift and alt to to um, transform from the middle, like from this this point of intersection right there. I don't know about y'all, but I always group group all my things just so I'm not confused or anybody else is confused. Just say I sent out a PSD file to somebody. They won't be confused either. All right. I could, the first thing I did, Control J to duplicate that, put that on the top. Of the 2D layer, create clipping mask. Um, I got, I have a bunch of preset styles. Most of these, I mean, like the, um, like the text style that I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna make that from scratch. And this, I'm not gonna make this from scratch, but I can show you all how I got to this point. Y'all could just pause the video and save the save the um layers I me mean the the layer style it's not too off the top um next we can i guess we can start with the pop out so what i always do start from the bottom because this little navigator right here shows me like where to begin and end. In my last tutorial, I used quick selection tool, I believe, to cut stuff out, but that was a, that was a fat minute ago. So now I use, I think this is called polygon selection tool. It's just much more, much more defined than quick selection. And the reason I'm going inside the um, like extra colored pixels right here is just so the pop out is kind of it's it's not like furry I guess you could say. Oh, when I messed up like how I'm going back right here, I'm just pressing backspace. Some people don't know that. Honestly, I think this is, this would be good. I think this would be good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be good. And what I always do is Control J again, put it on the top, Control G to group, name it what you want. And yeah, that'll definitely be all right. I did here I don't know why I made that a clipping mask wait what I did was I just cut the skull up layer via cut wait not that First, make that nothing. Apply that layer style back. And what I did here, I think it's on a preset. Yeah, definitely a preset. I beveled it because when I add this, when I add this, this little texture or, or PNG behind it, it just makes the Guns and Roses text stand out a bit more. Clip 
my screen. All right, now for the, the middle of the skull, I'm gonna apply this layer. Layer via copy. Now what I usually do, well I've never really done this before, but as you can see like it's kinda it's kinda chopped right there, it's not filling it. Just grab a wart, fill it out. Fill it out to your liking. It don't gotta be perfect. As long as it matches this theme, and since it's a cutout, I'm pretty sure it will match perfectly. All right, not to the, not to my text. This is Gotham, Gotham Bold actually. Control A, what I usually do. Then Control T again. Bring it all the way to the bottom. Oh, and when you have these right here, that's Control A. You just press Control D to deselect all of that. Make it a little smaller, of course, try to line it up with the middle again. Alright, the last I used for this, I guess we could just, I definitely use bevel. And, about, yeah, probably about a hundred. First off, let me try to zoom into there. Everything seems straight right here. I know I use Inner Shadow too. Let's just put it on 25. Oh, this is scroll wheel right here, by the way. Put that on 75. Inner glow. Definitely color dodge. This is gonna make sense after I add the satin. Um, I usually put satin on about probably around like 25 somewhere, 25 through 40. So let's just try 30. Distance, this is really a personal preference, but I'm just gonna go with, let's just hit 80. Then increase this to your liking. Um, outer glow for me is usually on about 35 only because I don't want it to, I don't want it to look too hard. First, let me, let me increase the size. Yeah, let me increase that a little bit. That's straight. All right, as you can see, it's a, a nice, simple layer style. None too complex. Now, this is where it's really gonna just come down to a personal preference because we finna get to the CC. CC means color correction for those who don't really know. What I usually do is take everything from my pack and just 
duplicate to your own liking. I know I use this CC. Just turn the opacity down a little bit. And it was definitely this one as well. Seems about straight. Um, next, let me go find, I think I use it on one of my arrow works. It's like a, uh, we got the paper stock. I usually add it under the CC so it's not. Screen 100%. Always save for web. I literally always save for web as a PNG 24. And I guess I could just save over that. Um, Magic Bullet looks. This is also something, it's just personal preference, honestly. I mean, y'all could sit there, pause the video, and copy all my settings but again it's, it's a personal decision wait I'm forgetting something I know for sure I'm forgetting something it's it's this one it's photo filter all right now we're good put that under the seven I'm gonna use this one or I'm gonna use his hair color. Just up that a little bit. Maybe a little bit lower. So first we could try this, turn that layer on, go to properties. You can find properties in here, in the window, under window tab. So control V. If if that doesn't that doesn't fit your liking, you could either play with the opacity, that's one, or you can control C, go back here, and control V. And I definitely like, I like the purple one over the, over the blue one. All right, so I could turn this down to probably about 35. I'm liking that so far. All right, now we save for, save for web. Who knows for getting something? Save back over that. Open, find the file. Back to Magic Bullet looks. Like I said, it's a personal preference. You could either pause and get the settings or simply make your own. I kind of like Shutter Shop, but at the same time, I don't. I get mixed emotions over that all the time. Shouldn't take, shouldn't take long for these Magic Bullet looks to apply. Control S, wait for it to done being saved, exit out. What I usually do for my PSDs is just place it back over. And just in case I'm like prepping it for a port, a port pick, I just make everything as visually pleasing as possible. Oh, the way I'm doing this is pressing control and right clicking on the layer. And then you just find the, whichever color you want. So what I would do is right click on it, fit the screen, and then just back up a little bit and screenshot it just so like ops or anything. Right, with that being said, I'm gonna wrap this guy up. Commission's open by the way. Hit my Twitter if you're trying to work. And I'm out, bruh.